and welcome back. On today's video, it's another edition of Dupe in the Dupe. And what we will be testing out, trying out, and actually doing this look right here is this palette right here by C Color Cosmetics called Obsessed One. It looks like this on the inside, and it is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Obsessions palette. But what we're going to be taking it up against today is this palette right here by Bad Habits called After Party. Now, this palette by C Color Cosmetics does retail for $6.99. This Bad Habit palette right here does retail for $12. Now, it used to be $10, but they've raised the price, so it is now $12 a piece. And you do get free shipping if you purchase this off a of Shop Hush. However, if you do go to the Bad Habit site directly, you will be paying shipping unless it's over $30, then it's free. Now, this palette right here, like I said, is $6.99 with free shipping and guess what guys they offered a 10 percent off coupon code hot mess 10 so if you guys want to see how these perform then let's well actually let's not get started let's pause the video let's take a wild guess which side is which guys which side is which what is it is this the side is this the side let's pause the video right now let's take a wild guess what side do you think is the $6.99 side? What side is the $12 side? Make sure to leave a comment down below, but make sure to come back and let me know whether or not you are correct. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Watches. just want to go ahead and do my side by side it is your standard typical type of cardboard packaging as far as that goes now you will notice on the bad habit side it has the writing of the shades as well as on the back but it does not tell you the ingredients this one does last a total of 12 months the bad habit one and it says net weight is zero uh, or point 32 ounces 8.9 grams over here it does give you the list of all of the ingredients but it does not have any shade names it does last a total of 12 months it is cruelty free it says one gram and then 0 0.035 ounces so this does retail for six dollars and 99 cents you can get 10 percent off because i did reach out to them and ask if they would be willing to give us any type of coupon code so they did offer a 10 percent coupon code i will tell you guys this is an affiliate code so if you do not want me to get any type of anything for it i totally understand that's okay but if you would like 10 percent off just when you go into checkout, if you are going to be going into like an Amazon type of checkout. So before you hit the actual checkout button, make sure to scroll down. It may be a little different looking, but that's just Amazon. It's not the C color cosmetics. It's literally how Amazon is. So before you go ahead and finish your actual checkout, scroll down to the bottom and it will give you a little option to apply that discount code. Discount code is HOTMESS10 and like I said, you will receive 10% off and you do get free shipping on this $6.99 palette. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and do the swatches. On the bottom is all of the Bad Habit shadows and on top is all of the C Color Cosmetics Obsessed shadows so let me go ahead and zoom you guys in bad habit on the bottom and c color cosmetics on top now what i can tell you guys as far as the swatches go on these hopefully it's showing up pretty well my camera's been a little finicky lately but what i can tell you guys is the c color cosmetics definitely feels like the huda beauty formula i mean right down to the way it swatches I feel like is like just like the Huda Beauty. Now for the most part the shades are pretty identical. They may be off just a little bit but nothing horribly. Uh, I did notice a big difference on the black shades. I felt like the Bad Habit one was definitely just like with the rest of the shadows much much softer but it was a bit more 
pigmented it felt like in the swatch you guys can see here the color is off just a little bit I don't think it's going to be the end of the world you guys know how I feel about swatches I don't feel like swatches mean a hill of beans it all comes down to how they apply and look on the eye so let's go ahead and get started with the application process so if you are new to dupe in the dupe what I do is on one side of my face I use the less expensive dupe and on the other I use the actual dupe the first one that I found so what I'll be doing is using the exact same brushes however I do clean them off in between so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this now I am gonna go ahead and just start off with a Morphe this is the M576 brush and I am gonna go in with this morning after shade right here in the center like I said the C color cosmetics side does not have the names of their shadows anywhere listed so I will be pointing and I'm just going to go ahead and point with both even though there's names on this one. Now with the Bad Habit there is a lot of kick up. Now this was something that I just became accustomed to. I didn't think it was the end of the world. So that is something to note that if you are new to makeup and you are not into a lot of kick up that is something that you probably aren't going to like. So I'm just going to kind of focus this more so into the crease area. Okay, jumping over to the C Color Cosmetics side, going in with the same similar color, same brush that's been cleaned off. Now there is a little bit of kick up on here, but not a lot. You're not going to get a ton of kick up at all. Okay, so right off the bat, just using this one shade, you can see already that it is definitely more pigmented than the Bad Habit side. What I'm just go ahead and do is jump into this musk shade right here. This is not the darkest brown. It is, this one is the darkest brown. So we're going to go into the lighter of the two. And just kind of tap it in there. You guys know I keep it simple with my brushes. I'm still using the exact same brush. Jumping over to the Obsessed palette, I am going to use this shade, which again is the lighter of the two. Okay, so in the Bad Habit side, I am, I think, going to just start off with this rose gold type of color. I don't know, pinky, it's called hairspray. And I'm just going to go ahead and Apply that right on there. Okay, so fingers clean. We're going to jump over, use the same shade over here. I feel like you can maybe see the bad habit side a little bit more, but this one kind of melts into the skin a little bit better, where this side looks more chunky. Let me get in closer so you guys can see. Okay, so can you guys see what I'm talking about? Over here on the Bad Habit side, it kind of looks like it's a little bit more chunky, where over here it looks like it melts in the skin. I mean, it could just be me. Leave a comment down below and let me know, guys. But to me, I feel like this side is much smoother looking. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go ahead. I know I keep jumping back and forth on these palettes instead of just kind of doing everything at once. Like I typically do. It's the first video of the day, guys. I'm out of sorts. But I am going to just go ahead and stay on the C Color Cosmetics side. I'm going to just take a little pencil brush. And I think I'm going to go ahead and dab into this lighter of the deeper browns. And apply that underneath my eye. Then I'm going to go in with this orangey shade and buff that underneath. That darker shade that I used. Okay, so jumping over to the Bad Habit side, we're going to apply this shade again with the pencil brush that's clean. Then going in with this lighter shade. Then I think for the inner corners, just to be a little different, let's go ahead and try the silver.
really having to kind of build it up. I just picked myself in the eye. <laughs> I will say the silver over here on the Bad Habit side is pretty chunky. So to this side and use the silver. Oh yeah, that is much nicer looking. Do you guys see? Probably not. Do you see how nice and smooth and the other side's chunky? Let's zoom in. See how this is definitely much chunkier and this is nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm going to hop off, do my liner and my mascara, and I'll be right back. I will tell you guys, before I put on my mascara on each side, I am going to go in very, very light-handed. I know because this one will fall out like something fierce, but I am going to add a little bit of the black right along my lid there, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my liner and my lashes. As far as liner goes, I am using the Red Isle Smoky Eye Pen in Black. Mascara, I am using my L'Oreal Voluminous Base Primer. I love this stuff. Then I do have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and on top, the Hourglass Caution Mascara. You guys, I just can't give that up. I just, I just can't. So, on my lips, I am using the Dose of Colors in a Mop Story. This is amazing. And then on top, I added a little bit of the most, and this is absolutely beautiful. So that is what I have on as far as lipstick and mascara and liner. Everything else I will have listed and linked down below for you guys, as well as these two products right here. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see the final look. So again, this is the C Color Cosmetics Obsessed One side. And this is the Bad Habit After Party side. I think overall we did achieve the almost identical exact look. Almost. I don't feel like you see like a huge difference. I think overall it is pretty similar. I do feel that this side, the C Color Cosmetics side, is a little bit warmer. Again, more like the Huda Obsessed. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty doggone similar. Um, I do have more to talk about, so let me go ahead and zoom you guys back out. Here are my thoughts, guys. This C, C Color Cosmetics, to me, formula-wise, is the exact dupe for the Huda Obsession palettes. I think that if you pick this up, you're gonna be extremely happy, not only one with the price and the free shipping, but the fact that the colors are just so similar to the Huda Obsessed palette, I think you're, or Obsession palette, I think you're gonna be quite happy, especially, especially if you have mature lids. You guys see this, even though talc is the number one ingredient, and I thought for the longest time that is why the Bad Habit shadows were really making me look more textured, and you can see it creases up in there. I don't know why it's doing that other than I'm 40, so maybe that's why. But I really feel when it comes down to it, the C Color Cosmetics, I absolutely am just loving their formula. You guys have seen, this is now the third palette that I have either done. Is it a duper just a waste of money on it? And these are just impeccable eyeshadow palettes. And for the price, it just blows my mind. So now one thing I have noticed with them is because they are kind of newer to the market, they're selling out very, very quickly. So just so you guys know, at the time that I am filming this video, this palette is in stock. Now they do have a few other palettes available that are supposed to be dupes for the Huda Obsession palettes. And the, here's the really cool thing about it. You guys know, $6.99. This one, $12. You can buy, I think, four of these for what, I think it's down to $36, $38. But if you actually go to the website of ccolorcosmetics.com. Again, I will have this link down below for you guys. If you actually go to their website and you go to put this in your shopping cart, it is gonna take you to an Amazon site, which I've, I've told you guys about before. You can get all three, they have three of their palettes on here, on Amazon, for $13.99, guys. Right? Three of them. $13.99. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I love the price of these. Honestly, the way I'm looking at it is you may get more in this particular palette, but between the kick up and the fallout, I kind of feel like this is going to be the better deal in the long run because you don't have the amount of kick up. These are just not as soft as shadows. Like I've told you guys in the past, 
you know, kick up is not the end of the world for me. I kind of feel like the pigmentation is going to be there, but that is, this case in particular is proving me wrong because I feel like these were more pigmented minus the black. I did not feel like the black was as pigmented as this one, but it was definitely buildable. And that's what I like about these shadows that, I mean, I don't know guys. I mean, honestly, when it comes down to it between these two, I would tell you guys right off the bat, you would, out of these two, I would go with this. I 100% would go with this one. So anyways, that's just my opinion. You may feel completely different, but I kind of like the fact that these, these eyeshadow formulas are not as soft as the Bad Habit ones. So I feel like in the long run, this is going to last you longer. You're going to have a bit more bit more looks out of this one but that could just be me I don't know anyways um I will if I do not give you guys an update at the end of the day on how this wore I will at least leave it in my description box or pin a comment down below for you guys uh but other than that I think that's going to be it for today's video guys so I did it again <laughs> right when it came time to get ready to get into the bath I'm like oh I forgot to do my check-in so anyways this is the only check-in that I will be doing and or that I've done and I'm telling you guys amazing absolutely amazing obviously both wore really really well no problems whatsoever my whole point is if I can pick up a palette for six dollars and ninety nine cents free shipping plus that ten percent off coupon code why not you know like why not so i mean you guys can see it wore great really i i don't see any creasing the inner corner silver can you guys see it's totally there can you see it's here but do you see how like there's sparkles that was one thing i had is a lot of sparkles all over my face where i don't have it over here but i had it over here on the bad habit side so anyways just wanted to point that out to you guys 100 percent hummus mom approved as always don't feel like you have to rush out and purchase any of these products that i am talking about i'm not sponsored but i want to find the best deals for you guys and this my friends is an amazing deal. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, don't worry because I actually have one more of their palettes that I am going to be doing dupe in the dupe and is it a dupe or just a waste of money because you guys, I am blown away with this formula. I think that this company has got something big and I think that even if you are new to makeup, you're going to enjoy this a lot. You're going to enjoy this formula because it's very pigmented but it's very buildable and blendable but you don't have to work really hard at it you go you know so i mean just us sitting here you guys can see my bad habit side is starting to crease up here a little bit that's kind of annoying um but other than that that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. The algorithm's been goofy again. People have uh, liked my videos, and then they're coming back and saying that they're being unlocked, uh, unlocked, unliked. That's kind of frustrating, YouTube. Can you kind of get it together? I'd really appreciate it. If you would, please share my channel or share my video. I would greatly appreciate it. And I also have merch still available listed in the link down below for you guys if you are interested in that. And as well as I will be having a 10K giveaway once we hit 10,000 subscribers. I have been planning this giveaway out for months you guys don't want to miss it i actually asked you all if you want just one big giveaway or if you'd like multiples and i decided to go with multiples so make sure you're subscribed because you're not going to want to miss that video i do upload five days a week monday through friday at noon eastern standard time and i do sometimes put up some keto low carb and family vlogs on the weekend so like i said be subscribed so you don't miss out so anyways until next time my friends i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from kentucky Bye.